A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So the summers are here again and so the background says Coca-Cola. The time is here to enjoy the cold drink once again. And before I start onto the topic or onto the video, I've, I would like to share you that I am very sad. I'm very sad because what happened some moron has hit my car in the parking and look what he has done this is a standing car in the parking and the guys don't know here how to drive or how to back the car up this is what they have done to my innocent beautiful lovely car look horrible and now these days i have to commute with without my car i wonder so it's very difficult in delhi to commute without your own vehicle so i'm doing it fine i'm hoping my beauty will be back on monday in my arms so by then let's come on to the video so in this video i'm going to share you a very small things how to change the dns address ports and the versions we all know that by default the dns works on port number uh, 53 and so i'll just share you a couple of examples so in this video i'll be focusing totally on the ports how can we change the ports how what configuration need to be done on the master how the how the clients will be then um, use the tools to resolve and what configuration need to be done on the slave so here for you i have a already configured server i i, I have my dns server here so this machine is running my day my dns server i'll just share you the name.conf file this is a name.conf file and by default it is listening on port number 53 so what happens now i saved it i i come out i just try to make it slightly smaller that makes sense yeah now what the client will will do now like suppose here i'm a client here it is so the client on uh, on the client side you know that i just need to configure my resolve.com file and i just specify the ip address of my dns server so the client can easily use the queries like dig i give dig say instructor dot example dot com and it gives me by like output and there is one uh, very you can say uh, issue here that if somebody is trying to check my version he can easily do it uh, like do it version bind txt chows if the client give this command or anybody who is a uh, who is using my dns server give this command my dns server very happily share its version look i'll do it again here it is so that my my dns says that i am using version number this and i am running on rel 6 i don't want this first thing first i want to hide my dns version numbers it's a very small trick i will go back onto my server here it is on onto the name.com file it's very simple anywhere in the option block anywhere anywhere you like i put it here i just write version and then write whatever you wish to uh, display say i give version i write here hidden dude hidden dude that's it so i just specified here version and whatever message i want to convey so my, my my message is this i saved and come out obviously i need to do a service restart i've done that i hopeful it will be successful that's great i came back to my client side now if i give the same command again that makes sense here it is clearly showing up that the version is hidden so this is the first step that i recommend all of you should do this while configuring our dns server though the client can again use the it like it it's the first step in securing your dns server then the next step can be you can create a chows net views or a domain so i'll be coming on to that topic in some other videos not in this videos so now now the client can use the dig command i can use the dig command dig say i give instructor dot example dot com and it gives me the output i give ns lookup say hyphen type is equal to ns example dot com it will give me the 
IP address and the port on which the DNS is running. I want to change the port. First thing first, I want to change the port. How can you change the port? Okay, fine. I go, I go to the name.com file. I'll show you a couple of examples. By default, it listen on port number 53. So I can just change here. Say I give here 5353. That's it. So I just change the port. Fine. And I save and come out. I start the service, service named restart. That's great. Job well done. Now, will this command work? No. Can you tell me why? Because my NSLOOKUP is still hitting or trying to hit on port number 53. So there is no way in which you can configure the resolvers to query on the alternate port. So that need to be done manually. So I need to write here port is equal to 5353 sorry 5353 and then I can write here hyphen type is equal to ns name server and example.com that makes sense so now you can clearly see here that my DNS is listening on port number 5353 or 5353 but the client need to give this command manually there, there is no way the it can be done automatically to all the resolvers in the same manner if he is doing a dig command dig say I give instructor dot example dot com it won't work because again it is going or trying on port number 53 so what need to be done just simple here you specify the port and the port number 5353 that makes sense you can see here the output is coming up here 5353 so that, so that is a very simple example I'll just share a couple of more complex situations like suppose you have got multiple interfaces on which your DNS listen to the, the clients so what can be done I'm I'll just insert a line here I mean I make it a comment intentionally you can also give like this listen on say curly braces and some IP address say 192.168.0.254 port say 5353 and then if you've got one more in, uh, uh, interface 192.168.0. say uh, 253 it was 253 and say I say 250 252 and you can specify a different port also altogether a different port 5354 so that means that means what okay I'll just come uh, remove the comment to make it yeah that means that my DNS is listening on two interfaces one one is 192.168.0.253 on port number 5353 and I've got one more LAN card which has got the IP address of 192.168.0.252 but that port will be listening on 5354 so these things can be done it's uh, rather a complex uh, or some advanced configuration I'm not activating it I'll be making it a comment because it's my live server or it's it's the like the server what we use here because I'm lazy I don't want to configure a new server so I'm using the same server oh I'm very lazy okay come back ag again so in, in the same manner there must be like something need to be done on on the slave side obviously like now suppose I'm configuring a slave I just save and come out I open my name dot RFC file if suppose here I'm configuring a slave like it's the ma it's the, the master here so like suppose I came here I say zone example.com in type slave obviously we we do it type slave and then we uh, say file slave say say forward dot zone and then you write masters now because the DNS master is, li is uh, listening on port number 5353 so I need to specify here 192.168.0.253 port 5353 and the other interface that is listening was if you remember here 192.168.0.252 or whatever and port 5 three five four so in this manner even the slave need to be configured in a different manner means up till now we 
we just used to give this one 192.168.0.253 and that is what we used to do we don't write this line isn't it but now because it's listening on a different interface so instead of this line you need to give this line so i'll just remove this line and just close this sorry that's it so so these uh, uh, configuration need to be done on the slave so on uh, on the slave you need to specify the masters and the port number so make sure that these IPs the IP of the slave should be there in the allow transfer configuration of the master make sure it should be there so these things can be done to uh, configure your DNS master slave and the client to run on a, on some different ports and what like one more thing you might need to specify a transfer source entry also transfer source and then specify the IP address of your uh, uh, master 192.168.0.253 and the port number if it is different otherwise it will be listening on the default port so and then there are a couple of things that you can do to fine tune your DNS the, like uh, limit the number of transfer of zones and other things but that I'll be covering on uh, onto some next videos so in this video the focus was I'm okay I'm I'm not going to, to save this so I'm just making a quit here so the focus was on how you can hide the version how you, you you can change the ports and apply the multiple interfaces and run the DNS on multiple interfaces and that is true on multiple ports and what need to be done on the slave side and how the resolvers or the clients will be querying it so that was the idea behind this video a very small video but I hope it's very interesting and it will help you or you, uh, you have learned a new thing to run your uh, uh, DNS or bind on a different port altogether. Thank you once again. See you again soon. God bless. And in the meantime, I'm just waiting for my car to come back. So hopefully it will be come back on Monday. And I re really want to hit that, that, that guy who don't know how to drive a car. That is a common thing actually in India. Ha ha ha. Jokes apart, I'm sad.